Hi, my name is Grant from View6 and we work with Magento e-commerce. I wanted to show you around Magento's email templates. Uh, in the back end of Magento, if we click into system and transactional emails, you'll see this screen by default. Magento has a range of email templates that are used. Uh, however, they don't appear in this screen unless they've been edited or created in the back end of Magento. So we have no records found currently. Your store may have records appearing in here. Let's click on the Add New Template button on the top right, and you'll see this screen. And then from the Template drop-down, let's just choose New Order. Then click on Load Templates, and then give the template a name. So this is our New Order template, but we're going to call it New Order Updated as we're going to change some of the content within it. If we click on the Preview Template button on the top right here, we can see that the actual template itself has got a welcome message, followed by a few lines of text, followed by some order details, followed by a footer. And in the back end, if we look at this template again, you can see in here that here's our welcome message, here's our few lines of text, and then at the bottom here is our footer. So let's just say you want to change this to thanks. Nice and informal. Go back to preview again. You can see now we've changed that to thanks. Uh, so any text in here you can edit if you wish. Uh, there are also Magento uh, variables in use. So variables appear on the front end as things like your order details, order number, billing or payment details on, a, on an order email. It's when on the email as to what variables are in use. You can add additional uh, variables in using the insert variable button here. You'll see a list of variables that are known to Magento for that email template. It's not worth or not wise to edit variables or values within variables unless you know what you're editing. Okay, so we made a simple change to our templates. Uh, our template also includes a logo at the top here, which is controlled separately. So let's just, for now, save this template. And let's go off now to System and Configuration. And let's have a quick click into General and Design. And if you scroll down, you'll see at the very bottom here, there's a tab called Transactional Emails. And in here, you'll see there's a image being used, a logo, and also some alt text. So you can, if you want to change your logo, click on Delete Image and Save Config, and that will delete the image, and then browse off to your new image, add your new alt text in here, and then save it, and that'll add the new image back in again. We'll leave this image as is, but that's how it's controlled. So we created an email template. We now need to assign it uh, so it's actually used in the, store, in the store. And as this is a, an order email, it's based around the sales uh, process in Magento. If you look under sales and in sales emails, you'll find a whole range of, area of uh, actions that can trigger emails in Magento. So when an order is placed, when an invoice is raised, when a shipment is made, when a credit is performed. So we are looking at an order. And we can see down here that the new order confirmation template in use currently is just a default template. And there are templates for normal customers, or say normal, logged in account holders as well as guest customers. So you can style the content depending on the customer. So let's just drop this box down here and choose our new order updated. It's our template we created earlier. Uh, the more templates you have, the more that will appear in this drop down. So it's wise to give them nice meaningful names, uh, otherwise it's hard to track down which one to use. Once you're happy with that, Click on Save Config, and that email template will then be in use. Okay, so that's a quick overview on email templates, how to edit them, how to assign them, and what you can do with them. Hope that helps.